Hey everyone, this is Pink Princess 007 and I will be starting my new series today. So here we are in Creative Sim and we'll be creating our new family. I didn't get many suggestions for names, personality traits, so I figured that you all are trusting me to figure all that out. So if you're not too fond of a name or too fond of the last name or the personality traits or the clothing type, I asked you guys to leave me comments and suggestions, but it's okay. I just figured that you guys trust me. So, so we are going to have his last name be Crane. If you're familiar with the soap opera Passions, that's where I got the last name from. I used to love that show. I'm not too sure what I'm going to name him yet, so I'm going to wait until that ends a little later. So yeah, we're going to create the guy first. And here you can choose whether you want your person to be a male or female. Female male and you can choose the walk style but I will be going back to that after I kind of design my sim how I want him to be so we will start with his face you can pick out the skin tone you can even be green and blue. <laughs> I think this is a good skin tone for him. And let's lose the hat. I am not feeling the hair at all. Give him brown hair. Now, if you have more of the Sims stuff packs and the expansion packs, you'll have more of a selection of hair types, clothing types, and all of those. But with the stuff packs and the expansion packs I have, these are the options that I have. Oops. So, I think I will just give him this haircut. Can't go wrong with this haircut. And his facial hair. I'm not sure if I want him to have facial hair. I don't like this. <laughs> um, let's see. I don't think I want him to have any facial hair. I don't know. Yes. No. No. I couldn't stay in Create a Sim for hours, <laughs> but I will try not to waste. A lot of time. Guess. I guess I'll stick with this or this. Yeah. No. This. Yeah, I'll just keep this. with the face. You can also morph the face. You can grab like the cheekbones where you kind of see it lighting up, highlighting. You can change. You can alter it. That's one of the many things I love about The Sims 4. You can make his face fuller, skinnier. You can adjust his nose. 
just the eyes, eyebrows. Do you even adjust the ears? Nope. <laughs> Chin in just a bit. Fill his face out a little more. Yeah. You can make his lips fuller. Double click. You can get into a closer look. Give him some full lips. Give him a slight smile. There we go. That. So I think I'm okay off his face. Now on to clothing. There are different categories of clothing you can choose from. Well, not to really choose from, but you can choose different types of clothes for each category for every day, formal wear, athletic sleep, party clothes, and swimwear. So we are going to choose everyday attire. I am not too sure what I want him to wear. Maybe just a t-shirt. I don't want him to have tattoos. So let's remove that. He's so skinny. But I'm going to show you all how you can fatten your sims up if you want. I just want to pick out his clothes. Those look like dress pants. Let's see. I believe there are more clothing options for females than males. But I guess I'll just keep them in those. And I really want to fill him out. He's so skinny. But I like doing that when I get the swimwear. So let's just go to swimwear. Broaden his shoulders a bit. You can also adjust this to make him more toned. So, make him kind of toned. You can make him fat. Well, to me, that's not really fat, it's more chubby. Skinny. Let's fill him out a little bit. You can also adjust the stomach. Adjust his chest. Uh -huh. Adjust his arms. Give him mm. bare arms. Mm. Now let's change his swimwear. There, this is fine. Doesn't look bad. Still have to think of a name for him. Okay, I'm kind of liking the way he looks. And formal wear. Give him a nice suit. Let's give him a tuxedo.
looks really nice. Then athletic wear. This is the um, the, the clothes that the Sims change into when they go to the gym and work out. I really don't care about athletic wear. <laughs> I just kind of pick anything. Yeah, this is perfect. Let's just change your shoes. Give him something to wear to sleep. There you go. Something to wear to a party. When a sim throws an occasion or if he decides to throw a party, he will change into this outfit. Gonna find something. Nice. I don't want to be in creative sim all day, so I'm just kind of choosing anything. Even though I do believe this is rather nice. Yeah, we already picked this. So let's Take his aspirations and his traits. I don't know if I want him to be a good guy or a bad guy. Maybe a bad guy. I don't know. Let's see the deviants. Hmm. Have the athletic. And when you pick an aspiration, you also receive a bonus trait. Like as you can see in that, like when you achieve all of the goals in the aspiration in the athletic aspiration, you achieve the high metabolism trait. Meaning that it's harder for your sim to gain weight. But I don't know. I think I want him to have the fabulously wealthy aspiration. Yeah. I'll do that. So he received the business savvy trait. Business savvy sims earn more than the standard rate from careers. So he is going to make more money than his co-workers. See, even he agrees. <laughs> um, Let's head on to his traits. He is going to be. Hmm. What should he be? Um, I wish there was one more trait you can add here that you can pick. Because three is just not. I want him to be cheerful. <laughs> uh -huh. um, let's see. Oh, should he be a dancer scene? Hmm. Yeah, let's make him a dance machine. You should make him a good person. Okay, so we're almost done. Let's put some clothes on him. There we go. So now let's choose his walk style. We have Perky. We have the Snooty Walk. 
the Swagger Walk. The Feminine Walk. The Tough Walk. The Goofy Walk. <laughs> Sluggish Walk. Bouncy Walk. And then there's the default walk style. But I think I want to give him the swagger walk. Yeah. I like it. I like the way you came out. I just gotta think of a name now. Hmm. What should his name be? See, you guys, this is why I need help with names. Cause I will sit here and just think, like, what should this Sim's name be? Um, I don't know. Hmm. I think I will name him. Hmm. Uh, the first name that came to mind, Sean. He kind of looks like a Sean, sort of. I don't know. I watched Days earlier today, and one of the characters in the show name is Sean. So, <laughs> I think he's okay. Yep, I like the way he looks. So, now to create our next sim. Chef Lita, I'm soon. And she's going to be a girl. Wait, is Shami an adult too? Okay, good. Oh, I forgot. His voice. He also... Select the voice type, right? No. Maybe a little deeper. So you can choose from three. It's a clear voice, a warm voice, or a brash voice. He doesn't look like a brash voice type of a person to me. I think he's going to be Yeah. I think so. So, her name... Should they be married? Uh, hmm. I think I will make them roommates. Maybe they'll get married later on in the series. I'm not sure. So, let's keep the passion theme going. We have Crane, and trying to think of some more last names on the show Passions. Um, there was the Cranes, the Lopez Fitzgeralds, um, the Russells, oh, the Bennets, and... There was another one, I think. That's all I can think of. Oh, um, Ethan's name was Winthrop. I'm not too fond of that last name. Her last name's gonna be Russell. <laughs> And I do not know what her name is going to be, so I'm just going to go ahead and just create her. Now think of a name. No. Her eyes look sleepy. 
Oh, her eyebrows are so perfect. Get this makeup off her. No, I want to make her lips bigger. Give her some plump lips. Perfect. Making this a little bit more. There. She's not bad looking. Open her eyes a little bit more. Make her look more awake. really get all into detail with makeup for the sins. She looks surprised. I didn't know she looked that much awake. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Yeah, the Starbucks barista did not put six shots of espresso in her drink. <laughs> I think you could stand to be her hair. Like I said before, the hairstyles depend on what type of expansion pack or game pack or stuff pack that you have. No. No. Oh, I don't like her face shape too much. I mean, it's not ugly, but it's not the way I picture her. I do not like this hair too much. I may get fixed this myself. I don't like her nose too much. Should I give her diva hair? Hmm. Ponytail. I love a high ponytail. But not on her. Short hair, no. Somewhere in 
I will show you all how you can adjust different body parts. <clears throat> you can make her hippie, not so hippie. You can make her have an hourglass figure. And my personal favorite, you can adjust the booty size. <laughs> And the same in The Sims 3, if you have Late Night, I believe, you can adjust her cup size. And same as the male, you can adjust her stomach size. Ooh, that's so skinny. Let's put you on a bikini so I can see better. No. Yeah. Let's give her a little bit of hips. Let's run the shoulders a little bit. Yeah. Kind of like the blue. I might keep that. Let's thicken her up a little bit. Does that help any? No. <laughs> I need the bottoms. I think these are it. Yep, matching bottoms. Perfect. I like to go for the hourglass figure. I think it's so cool that now you can morph the Sims bodies. Yeah, that's the, that's the bathing suit I'm gonna have her wear. For her every day, I'm going to choose. I'm trying to think, should I let her wear something scandalous or something homely? I don't know. Let's see. Kind of like this halter top. Let's get these shoes off of her. Hmm. Maybe something slightly scandalous. Oops. Mini skirt. Hmm. Nah. No. Give it some short short. Perfect. Something slightly. Well, I wouldn't really call it scandalous. <laughs> hmm. These watches. Yeah, let's have her wear these. I like the way she looks already. Hmm. Just gotta think of a name for her. <laughs> These clothes for my family may change. I just want to show you all create a sim and how I'm making these stems for you all. So I may go back and change it, but I don't want to 
make like a two hour long video on creating this family. <laughs> so some of these clothes that you see here are subject to change. I like this one. Get our tank top. That's pretty blue. Get her some yoga pants. Yoga pants are the best things ever. <laughs> Let's put her on in here. Her night clothes. We will keep the short. And let's give her a little bit more hips. Ah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, let's see. Let's change the color. There. Her party clothes. Find her a nice dress. I like this dress. Or do I want to wear a long dress? Nah, I like this one. Change your shoes. <clears throat> Let's change the color. The one thing I miss about The Sims 3 is the fact that you can Kind of create your own colors. Like here, colors are given to you and you have to pick one. But on The Sims 3, you can choose whatever color you want your shoes to be. And the pattern and all of that. So that's one thing I don't like too much about this. And we already chose her somewhere. So now, Aspiration. I will give her the same aspiration as her roommate. And she is going to be cheerful as well. A romantic. And I want to make these sims a little bit different than my previous family that I showed you all, Stacy. Because Stacy, she was hot headed and mean and mischievous, all of that. I want them to kind of be the opposite, for now anyway. Let's have her be neat. Yeah. Okay. Let's choose our voice. So we have sweet, melodic, and lilted. No, she is not lilted. No. Yeah, I think that's a good fit for her. And we can. So, yes, they are roommates. And same walks. I think I want to give her this one. Yes, I like this. So now, we just gotta think of a name. Hmm. I think I shall name her Belle. Days of Our Lives character. <laughs> Belle and Sean. If you're watching Days currently, you know that Belle and Sean are divorced or in the process of getting a divorce. So 
It's funny that we have a Belle and a Sean that's living together. <laughs> so we're going to have them move in. They look cute together. You can change up the poses. The poses are different on how they are related to each other. Like they're just roommates. And as you saw before, you can pick brother or husband, all that. Kind of like the last one. I don't like the last one. No. I kind of like this one. This one. They can't afford the furnished house. Ugh. No. No. You guys are gonna have to move somewhere else then. Oh, they can't afford it. No. Wait, do they live here? No. No. There are not many options. Might have to go to another one. Off camera, I should have made. Stacy get like a whole bunch of money from her job and move out. Can we move here? Wait, is it gonna be furnished though? No. I should have moved someone out off camera. Okay everyone, I'm going to move someone out and replace this family in their house. So I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I forgot to check a world. I forgot all about Windenburg. So I found a cheap house for them to live in in Windenburg. And it's funny because I think I said um, in the last part that I wanted my new family for my new series to live in Windenburg. So this is perfect. I'm glad I remembered. <laughs> so we're going to have them purchase the house. And we're going to play this family. And here we are at our house in Windenburg. This is kind of a nice house for a starter home. It's missing a TV though. So we are going to get into some gameplay in the next part, because I'm sure this part is long enough. So, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this part. Leave a like, comment, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. I put out videos on Saturdays and Sundays. But for the past two weekends, I didn't post any videos, so now this video is coming to you in the middle of the week, and there will be one more video, or maybe two more videos, I'm not sure. But definitely expect another video before the week is out, and I will try to keep up with my Saturdays and Sundays with posting something for you all. If you have any suggestions on what their job should be, their careers, or what clubs you want them to be in, leave them in the comments below. Should they date? Should they have a baby? Just leave any type of suggestion, a comment, in the comments below. And give this video a thumbs up. A thumbs up and the positive feedback lets me know, hey Pink Princess, keep going with this series because <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys 
So I will try to make this series as fun as possible. So, in closing, I like to say that you're awesome, you're amazing, you're smart, that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Have an awesomely amazing day on purpose. Bye, guys.